Javier, please bring me la espada ropera del siglo XVII, por favor. So this is what he would have used, yeah? Right. Mm -hmm. These are the swords were used in the 16th and 17th century. Normally, the fencing master choose the students. You are uh, chosen because you have an ancestor who was a fencing master, and he was really important. Uh, probably. And you know he's looking down on you now, saying, of course, "You better of teach course, my grandson." Of course, <laughs> I have to be gentle with you. So this is what Antonio Mendoza would have worn, right? Uh huh. That's right. That's the proper clothes from that time. I feel pretty cool. Although we'll see how I am with the sword, because I could be all the gear, no idea. You know what that means? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Gracias. Muy bien. Muy bien. Okay. First of all, when we start a lesson, you have to do the salutes. So to the chin, to the master, chin, watch him. Okay, and we get on guard, okay. And if you want to attack, put the arm straight and fondo, ha, ha, eso es, that's it. Body straight, that's good, body straight, keeping your body in the proper position. No, marchar, romper, fondo, ha, cuarta, sexta, quinta, cuarta, sexta, quinta, I go, sexta, quinta, four, ha, voy yo, vamos, ataca, cuarta, sexta, quinta, voy yo. Venga, señor Mendoza, demuestra lo que sabes. Vamos allá. That's it. Vamos. Nice. Good.